Hey guys, as you may remember, a few years ago I made a guest video for Tom Scott in which I soaked my sister's teeth in both Mountain Dew and Coca-Cola. Now that video did really well and kind of jump-started my whole career, and a few weeks ago I got my wisdom teeth taken out, so I figured what a perfect opportunity to come back to this and try it again with a few different drinks. So this time we'll be testing coffee, Bang, the popular energy drink, carbonated water, and finally Mountain Dew as sort of a control. Now the first three of these beverages uh, actually don't have any sugar and I'm really interested to see how the combination of carbonation and sugar and carbonation and no sugar and whatnot will, uh, will have on it. So let's take these drinks, let's weigh out our teeth, and let's test the pH of all these drinks and let them sit for about a week and a half. been about two and a half weeks so let's take the teeth out weigh them again and take a look at them up close now first let's start off with the classic Mountain Dew it has 78% of its original mass and if you look at it the enamel looks all like chalky and white and the roots are stained yellow next up we have the bang tooth and if you look closely you can see the enamel is super soft and is coming off by just me touching it. Uh, it's pretty gross and definitely looks the worst out of all of the teeth. Um, so it has 79% of its original mass. However, I feel like if I scraped off the enamel with just my finger, it'd probably be quite a bit lower. Next, we have the plain carbonated water tooth. And honestly, it looks pretty good and it's maintained 95% of its original mass. And finally, we have the coffee tooth which even though it is very, very stained, especially in the roots, it has 98% of its original mass. Now before we talk about why these different drinks have different effects on the teeth, let's talk about how they erode teeth. Now teeth have this hard outer layer called enamel, and it's mostly made up of a compound known as hydroxyapatite. However, hydrogen ions, which come from acids breaking up, can replace the calcium found in the hydroxyapatite, making the enamel weak and causing it to decay. So while all these drinks are acidic, their levels of acidity are different. And this is why some had a greater effect on teeth than others. The acid found in all of the carbonated drinks is carbonic acid, which forms as carbon dioxide dissolves into water. And this can be seen uh, forming when dry ice is put into water, as the pH indicator shows a drop in pH as that carbonic acid is formed. So if carbonated water has carbonic acid in it, then why does it not look as bad as the Bang or the Mountain Dew? Well, both Bang and Mountain Dew have another acid added to them, citric acid, and not all acids are the same. Now, strong acids like hydrochloric acid will completely dissociate or break up into those hydrogen ions. However, weak acids like carbonic or citric acid only partially dissociate. Chemists use pKa to quantify how strong these acids are and how much they will dissociate, with a lower pKa value meaning a stronger acid. However, with both carbonic and citric acids, there's not just one pKa number, and this is because they're polyprotic. Now, some acids like hydrochloric acid are monoprotic, and just have one ion to give and break up into. However, citric and carbonic acid are polyprotic, meaning they have multiple ions to give. Citric acid is triprotic with three ions, and carbonic acid is diprotic with two. Now each time an acid dissociates or gives off one of those ions, it has a different pKa. For citric acid, it's 3.13 the first time, then 4.76, and finally, 6.4. This means that with each dissociation, it's less likely to break up. But this still makes it quite a bit stronger than carbonic acid, which only has two ions and pKa values of 3.6 and 10.32. This added citric acid explains why the Mountain Dew and the Bang were so much worse for your teeth. 
I also can't be 100% sure because my measurements weren't super accurate and I couldn't find any lab data for Bang, but I believe that the Bang has more citric acid, making it uh, more acidic, but the Mountain Dew also has sugar in it, unlike the Bang, which that sugar also decays teeth. So at the end of the day, they seem to be both just about as bad for you. Now, I haven't talked about coffee yet because it's a little more complicated. Now, coffee contains about 50 different kinds of acids, and their concentrations and the overall acidity of coffee can vary a lot depending on the type of coffee, where it comes from, and how it's brewed. But as a general rule of thumb, coffee that is brewed with a finer grind, at a higher temperature, or brewed for longer, will have higher concentrations of acid. And I can't really be sure what the pH of the coffee that I used is, because universal indicator doesn't work very well in black coffee, <laughs> but most coffee is around a 4.5 on the pH scale, which is pretty comparable to the carbonated water. So in conclusion, none of these drinks are really the best for your teeth. Just because the Bang and the Mountain Dew were really bad for your teeth doesn't mean that the coffee or the carbonated water is good, per se. Now, I'm no dentist, but of course I would say that if you do decide uh, to drink these beverages, then uh, you should definitely do it in moderation and not go too crazy. And also, it's a good idea to have some water to drink along with them to help dilute some of that acid. Um, and of course, you should brush your teeth, um, but you definitely want to wait at least an hour after drinking any of these beverages, uh, because before then, your enamel still might be kind of soft and you can actually brush it away. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video and soaking my wisdom teeth in all my favorite beverages, uh, then please leave a like or subscribe. And thanks to all my lovely patrons who really make these videos possible. Thanks.